Okay, everybody, we have made our way to the A Data suite here in the Venetian, and I'm here with Thomas from A Data. How are you doing, Thomas? I'm doing all right. Excellent. So I know behind you, you have a, a couple of new things in this in this system. Uh, DDR4 memory, which we'll get to in just a moment. We also have uh, the new SP910 SSD from A Data uh, with some impression numbers, as well as an Enterprise Edition M.2 drive. So why don't we start with the A Data drive? Uh, the SSD. Uh, me. Sure, we'll start with the full size or the uh, two point two and a half inch one. Nice. So uh, it runs off a Marvell controller. The uh, controller number is eight eight SS nine one eighty seven controller. Nine one eighty seven. Okay. So uh, some impressive speeds from it too, as well. At five hundred and sixty megabytes per second on the reads and four hundred and eight or four hundred and sixty megabytes per second on the writes. Almost gave you a boost accidentally. Yeah, <laughs> so don't, I don't mind. Give it a boost. Give yeah, it a right? boost. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, all right. Um, also, we have like M.2 on here, down here. It's a uh, enterprise drive, okay. and it uses the new LSI Griffin controller. Excellent. So we've been waiting for this for like two years, and it got yes. and it has really good read or write speeds of up to 1.2 1. 1. 2 gigabytes, gigabytes per second. Per second. Excellent. So um, I also noticed that uh, it's in a uh, PCIe adapter too, right? So yes, it doesn't need to be in a PCIe adapter, but it has to do with my yeah, just the my setup case. currently yeah. and the case not being able to fit it. That's all right. Or my board. You guys yeah. can take take a closer look at that. Uh, but let's let's move along to what else you have inside this beautiful suite of yours. All right, Thomas. So we made our way over here to the RAM and SSD stacks that you have here on the boards. And and yes, DDR3, awesome. Everything's great. But I really want to know more about your DDR4 DIMMs. Can you tell us about that? Cool. So our new DIMMs are going to come in this gold color. Before they used to just be red, and they only went up to 2,800 megahertz. Our new ones are going to go up to 33, 33, and also be in gold. So all of our all of our uh, speeds are going to be in gold. All of our speeds are going to be in red. Okay. So they're basically, wait. Higher. So are they are they color coordinated then? Like certain speeds will be red, certain speeds will be nope, gold. No, all of them all come of in them both colors. Both. Okay. Yep. Perfect. Um, I did see these on the Facebook page, on Adidas Facebook page, quite a while ago actually, and I thought they looked pretty cool. Um, lots lots about aesthetics. I mean, clearly, uh, this model down here where you can remove the different heat sinks uh, just to match your build is nice. Uh, but DDR4, that's really the next stage, and I'm glad that you guys are moving into that as well, as you should be. Right. Um, but by moving along to your SSDs, so uh, we have the SP610, the SP920, um, older drives, but we want to talk more about the SP320, right? Uh, so this one is using the SMI controller, specifically SM2256, it looks like. Um, it's TLC NAND and uh, 560 megabytes per second on the read and 510 on the write. Right. Does that, does that pretty much wrap that one up? Yeah, so um, this one, we've over-provisioned it just a little bit. Good. Usually, you can see in our past, we haven't really over-provisioned it, but this one, because it's TLC, so we over-provisioned it. Excellent. Because of the... Um, on top of that, what other capacities does it come in? That's a 960 gigabyte version. Is that the only the only capacity that it has? It'll also come in less capacity, like a 120, a 240, and a 480. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Well, Thomas, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day to help us out. We appreciate it, and we love learning more about A-Data stuff. Thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned for more coverage at CES.